Good morning. How are you today? Good morning, teacher. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I heard you've been learning about the doctor-patient relationship in your health class. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. It's been quite interesting, actually. We've been discussing the roles of doctors and patients and how they communicate. That's wonderful to hear. It's such an essential topic. Can you tell me? What do you think are some key responsibilities of a doctor in their interactions with patients? Well, from what we've learned, doctors need to be good listeners. They have to pay attention to the patient's concerns, ask questions to gather relevant information, and provide clear explanations about diagnoses and treatment options. Excellent points. Active listening and clear communication are indeed crucial now. What about the patient's role in this relationship? What do you think they should do to make the interaction with the doctor effective? I think patients should be honest about their symptoms, medical history, and lifestyle choices. It's also essential for them to ask questions. If they don't understand something the doctor says and follow the prescribed treatment plan, you're absolutely right. Honesty and proactive involvement in their healthcare are key for patients. Can you share an example of a situation where good communication between a doctor and patient might have a significant impact? Sure. Let's say a patient has been experiencing unusual symptoms but is hesitant to share all the details with their doctor due to embarrassment. This lack of communication could lead to a misdiagnosis. Or delayed treatment, potentially making their condition worse. That's a great example. It shows how important it is for patients to overcome their reservations and be open with their healthcare providers. Now let's talk about informed consent. Why is it essential, and how does it relate to the doctor-patient relationship? Informed consent is crucial because it ensures that patients understand the risks, benefits. And alternatives of any medical procedure or treatment. It empowers patients to make educated decisions about their health care, and it strengthens trust between doctors and patients because it shows that the doctor respects the patient's autonomy. Very well explained. Informed consent is indeed vital in health care. Now, do you have any questions or scenarios related to the doctor-patient relationship? That you'd like to discuss further? I'm curious about how cultural differences might affect this relationship. Could you tell me more about that? That's an excellent question. Cultural differences can indeed play a significant role in the doctor-patient relationship. For instance, some cultures may have different expectations regarding family involvement, communication styles, or traditional healing practices. It's essential for healthcare providers. To be culturally competent and sensitive to these differences to provide the best care possible. Thank you for explaining that. This has been a fascinating discussion, and I'm learning so much. Is there anything else you think I should know about the doctor-patient relationship? I'm glad to hear you're finding this discussion valuable. One final point I'd like to emphasize is the importance of trust. A strong doctor-patient relationship is built on trust. And mutual respect. When patients trust their doctors and feel heard and respected, it can lead to better health outcomes and overall well-being. Trust is definitely crucial in any relationship, especially in healthcare. Thank you for this insightful conversation. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. If you ever have more questions or want to discuss any other topics. Don't hesitate to reach out. Actually, I have one more question. If that's okay, it's about the role of technology in the doctor-patient relationship. With the advancement of telemedicine and health apps, how is this changing the way doctors and patients interact? That's a fantastic question. Technology is indeed changing the landscape of healthcare. Telemedicine, for example. Allows patients to consult with their doctors remotely, which can be especially convenient for those with limited mobility, or in remote areas. It can improve access to care. However, it also presents challenges, such as ensuring the security of patient information and maintaining a personal connection.
Between doctors and patients. I can see how it can be convenient. But I guess it might lack the personal touch of an in-person visit. How can doctors maintain a strong doctor-patient relationship? When using telemedicine? You're absolutely right. Maintaining that personal touch is essential. Doctors can do several things to foster a positive relationship during telemedicine visits. They should still focus on active listening, provide clear explanations, and ensure that patients feel heard and cared for. Additionally, using video calls can help bridge the gap by allowing for face-to-face -face communication, even if it's virtual. That makes sense. It's good to know that technology can still support a strong relationship between doctors and patients. Yes, technology can be a valuable tool when used thoughtfully. It's also worth noting that health apps and online portals can empower patients by giving them access to their medical records and resources to manage their health independently. This can enhance communication and collaboration between doctors and patients. That's true. I've heard about those apps that help patients track their health and medications. It's impressive how technology can be so multifaceted in healthcare. Absolutely. The key is to strike a balance between the convenience and efficiency that technology offers and the personal, human aspect of healthcare. It's an evolving field, and doctors are continuously adapting to these changes to provide the best care possible. Thank you for sharing your insights. I feel like I have a much better understanding of the doctor-patient relationship now, including how it's evolving with technology. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. Remember, healthcare is a dynamic field, and it's important to stay informed and adapt to new developments. If you ever have more questions or want to discuss any aspect of healthcare further, feel free to reach out. Before I go, one more question if you don't mind. I'm curious about the role of empathy in the doctor-patient relationship. How important is it for doctors to be empathetic? And how does it impact patient care? Of course. Empathy is a fundamental aspect of the doctor-patient relationship. It involves understanding and sharing in the emotions and feelings of the patient. Empathetic doctors can connect with their patients on a deeper level, which can lead to better trust and communication. Thanks for being such a great teacher and always willing to engage in these enlightening discussions. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Sarah. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And I'm always here to support your learning journey. Have a fantastic day too and take care.